Angels Care Home Health, serving Hayes and the surrounding areas, is a Medicare-certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing and restorative therapy services to patients in their homes. I love the nurses that come and see me. Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, and all services are covered 100% by Medicare for patients who are eligible. Since I learned about Angel Care, I would recommend them to anybody. Angels Care Home Health. We serve patients. Eagle Community Television presents Community Connection with your host, Mike Cooper. Hello and welcome again to our Community Connection from Eagle Community Television. Thanks for watching. Thanks as always to the producer and editor of our series, Jeff Durall. We're on the campus of Fort Hayes State University at uh, Custer Hall with the director of the CAMS program at Fort Hayes State University, the Kansas Academy of Math and Science, Dr. Roger Sheeprick, our community connection. CAMS was established in 2006 by an act of the Kansas legislature. And uh, let's see, Roger, you've been here since 2014, I believe, right? I've been director since 2014, mm -hmm. and, and, but has been, have been associated with the program as an assistant since 2011, which was the first year. So every student that's come through the program, I've known. So. And you've been, had a relationship have with a rela them. Absolutely. <laughs> Tell me about who makes up a CAM student. Well, we, we get that question a lot. Um, so our students come from um, <clears throat> all across Kansas, every corner of the state, from large school, the big uh, Shawnee Mission schools in Kansas City, to, you know, we have a couple students from Quinter. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so large and small. Um, they all have unique backgrounds. They all have unique interests. But one of the common threads that we find that, that run through all of our students or that they're bored in high school. Um, they're under-challenged. And so they've come across our program, or we found them. And um, so it gives them a, a, an opportunity to, to take an advanced curriculum and, and maybe take courses that they otherwise couldn't get at their high school. Um, there are 40 enrollees that are high school juniors, right? Right. We are allowed to bring in 40 students from the state of Kansas, and then we can bring in 10 to 15 international students. The students from the state of Kansas um, are supported through the Kansas legislature. And so um, through that support, those students, uh, the tuition, fees, books, supplies um, are all paid for. Um, there is a cost. I mean, the students do have to pay some, some uh, residential costs for participating in the program. But essentially, they'll get 68 hours of college credit for free. Now, my international students have to pay the full bill. Uh, because obviously they haven't been paying taxes in the state of Kansas and things like that. Um, it's a two-year program, so they apply during their sophomore year of high school, and then they would enter their junior and senior year of high school. Now, this, the high school doesn't necessarily lose that student, okay? The student still stays enrolled in the high school, so my students in Quinter, they'll still graduate from Quinter High School, but they'll just spend their last two years taking college courses alongside regular Fort Hayes State students, and uh, they're fully integrated into the environment. But Quinter High School still gets credit for their performance. And, and so really we've partnered with the high schools in um, really celebrating the high school's success in preparing their students mm -hmm. to come into our program. And teachers, representatives of administration and such can identify some of these young people that might be CAMS candidates. Though. Absolutely. We, <clears throat> we get students that uh, start planning to come to our program because there are certain requirements that you have to meet. I mean, you mm -hmm. have to be obviously academically talented, proper ACT scores, but you, we mm -hmm. also want them to take a rigorous pre-CAMS curriculum. Mm -hmm. And so we'll have students start planning their eighth grade year. And so we'll have gifted facilitators, high school counselors, and they just start working with us on, on trying to get their students uh, prepped to come into the program. And a, a, a new feature we've added, so I mentioned students apply their sophomore year. Because we have such an interest in the younger students, we've had started like an early admission program. Mm -hmm. So like med school has an early admit program, vet school has early admit, well CAMS now has an early admission program. So a student can actually apply their freshman year, gain early acceptance so that they know they're coming here for their junior year in high school. And so that kind of takes some of that stress about getting into the program off their shoulders and then they can continue to plan and, and prepare and their families can plan and prepare. So, so that's kind of a cool new program we have as well. 
Well, and uh, to get the word out, you hold information sessions. They began March 6th in Hayes, will continue through April 3rd in Salina. Um, who presents at these uh, educational information sessions? Well, our, our main um, <clears throat> presenter is Jared Cook, who's our um, coordinator of marketing and um, recruitment. And Jared goes to all these different sessions, and, and we go year-round. We're just kind of in this middle spring um, round of information sessions, but we go all over the state, and Jared will sit down with uh, families and prospective students, counselors, administrators, and really just tell the, tell the camp story. Um, certainly there's some processes that he talks about and some minimum requirements and you know, expenses and things like that, and so they're free. It's a great way to learn about the program. And then typically what we find is Jared, Jared talks to them about the program, gets them excited, and then they'll come out for a college visit or a CAMS visit, and, and they'll get to see the facilities, meet with our students, and things like that. So. Well, now, you've uh, been on a few of these since your uh, introduction to the CAMS program back in 2011. Um, what are questions that are frequently asked by students, Roger? Well, one, one question um, that we get from the students and the parents, mm -hmm. because we, we promote that they get two years of college free, mm. right? The, the um, tuition fees, book supplies. And so they, they always think, is it too good to be true? I mean, how, how does that happen? Is, What's this, the is catch? this real? What's the catch, <laughs> right? And so we kind of explain the process, and it's not a catch. I mean, they do mm -hmm. get um, 68 hours of college credit paid for. So that's one. Secondly is um, the parents are obviously they're talking about sending away their student to college two years early, so they're concerned about safety. They're concerned about you know will my son or daughter get treated any differently, um, you know from the rest of the college students, and and those answers um, certainly we have heightened security in the program. They have a few extra rules that they have to follow by participating in our program that regular college students don't have, but we do that for a reason. Um, but they're fully integrated into the mm -hmm. college environment. And quite frankly, my kids aren't walking around with a big sign on their head that says I'm in CAMS. Mm -hmm. And so you don't know that they're, high, they're 16, 17 year olds old mm -hmm. when they're sitting across from you in a Calc 2 course. And so they're not treated differently. And they're getting the same education uh, in the professor's classroom as is a Fort Hayes State student. Absolutely. Tell me about uh, the uh, questions that have been asked by students again that might be uh, a goal of the session. What do you hope to do with these? Uh? Well, the, the first thing is we want to make sure they, they understand what they need to get into the program mm -hmm. um, because there are minimum requirements um, and so we want to make sure they've achieved those. But then we also um, want to try to figure out what their goals are because mm -hmm. we'll have students that come in and say, you know, I want to, um, I want to, I want to be a get a PhD in math, mm -hmm. and as a sophomore, I will have taken every advanced math course offered at the high school. Mm -hmm. uh, well, they come here, you know, they can take, you know, they can take every advanced math course they can. So we try to figure out their goals. If they want to get into a competitive institution, if they want to, um, you know, uh, apply for some national scholarships, things like that. What we, mm -hmm. what we try to find out is what their goals are and then mm -hmm. if we're able to meet those. Because our experience certainly sets the high school experience apart from others. I mean, it's a very unique program. And as part of that, I mean, it really differentiates that experience. There's only six programs like ours in the entire country. Mm -hmm. Cam or Kansas is fortunate that we have the one in CAMS. And so by even participating in our program, it sets them aside from a typical high school experience. But then, when you're one of only six in the entire country, that even further differentiates the experience. Through University Relations Office, we learned of a couple of the students, uh, one of whom was a young man who uh, wanted to be a cardiovascular thoracic surgeon. Uh, another young lady was uh, studying with uh, Dr. Kobayashi here at Fort Hayes State in the Biological Sciences Department. Uh, these are extraordinary young people. Right, and they're both high school seniors, and I can assure you that when I was a senior, um, I wasn't thinking about the things that these <laughs> students are, are thinking about. But Jacob Lusion is the young man. He'll be, um, he is uh, a part of the Honors College. He'll be one of the, one of the honor students coming in. Uh, 
he, the sky is the limit for him. He's so talented and, and such a hard worker. Norelia Ordonez is the uh, young lady from Goodland, and she's already been accepted to med school at KU. Hmm. Um, she went through the early um, acceptance program um, mm -hmm. for KU Med through the Scholars in Rural Health, and uh, she'll continue at Fort Hayes for one year and then start med school at the age of 19. Wow. And, and those stories, you know, mm -hmm. I feel bad about talking about two of them because all of our students have such unique stories and such great accomplishments <laughs> that it's uh, hard to identify one or two. But I can. I mean, I can keep going. <laughs> There's something that caught our attention, uh, Roger, that uh, is a pilot program with a South Korean uh, distinguished high school that uh, apparently is very hard to get into. Right. So we... Um, we have some international students, and, and so English education is very popular in, in South Korea. Um, it's very competitive. So we have some amazing, um, amazingly talented um, South Korean students. And through some of those connections, we got connected with uh, the Daejeon Science High School for the Gifted. Now, in South Korea, they have classifications of schools, and there are, there are seven gifted schools, labeled gifted, in South Korea. And the, um, the Daejeon Science High School is, to give you an idea, they have 2,000 applications for each year, and um, they only accept 90 students. Mm -hmm. So you do the math on that, that's a very competitive program. And so they accept students from the entire country. It's a border. The students are, live there um, mm -hmm. on campus. And um, research is a focus of that high school. Well, research is very important to the CAMS program. So we got connected and started talking about how can we work together. Because my hope to further differentiate my students' experience is to get them some international experience. Mm -hmm. And so last summer was the first summer we sent uh, six students over there um, with some of my staff. And they spent 10 days in South Korea, and they did some cultural things. But then they went to the high school and participated with their junior class research project where they went to this biosphere, collected ants, and then extracted DNA from ants and did research on the DNA of ants. Mm -hmm. Some amazing stuff. Then um, that fall, Dejan sent five students over here, and so they spent a week with us on the campus and they did some research with Dr. Dryling in the math department, Dr. Cruz in the chemistry department, and then we did some cultural things. So this will be the second year, um, right after finals, um, we're taking some more students over there. And this year they're doing research on the mud flats. And so, and then in July, Dr. Cruz is leading a one week camp where they'll send their students um, to campus for a week and then my current CAM students will come in and they'll work with Dr. Cruz on a project. End of that week, they'll have a poster presentation so that the Korean students will go back and they'll enter their research, this research project into their mm -hmm. science competitions and research competitions. And my students that participated with that will be co-authors. So by that very nature, mm -hmm. my students are going to have international presentation experience. And certainly if they have the means to go over and present, they can do that. But this idea of collaboration and working with students from another very uh, rigorous, prestigious school is something that we're really excited about. And there's also the London connection as well. Well, yeah, <laughs> and um, Alex, uh, and this, this, was, this was all on uh, my assistant director, Alex Shaw. We received an email about creating some study abroad experiences and how there may be some funding through the study abroad office to help create a program. So I told Alex, who loves to travel, I said, hey, if you think of something, let's, let's try to do this because, again, it provides our students an, another opportunity. And she did a fantastic job, created a uh, basically a STEM research trip to London. And so she took 11 um, of our students, and they spent 10, 11 days in London came back, presented their research on campus in, in an open forum, and just had a fantastic time and a great learning opportunity. Finally, Roger, in our last minute, talk about the uh, CAM Summer Camps coming okay. up. So we have uh, our CAM Summer Academy that we use to um, uh, introduce STEM disciplines to eighth graders and freshmen. So these would be current eighth graders and freshmen that will be freshmen and sophomores. Mm -hmm. And there are five camps this summer. There's a programming camp, there's a math camp, a biochemistry camp, a history of Kansas camp, and then 
We have kind of a technology camp that, that students are going to be working with 3D printing and drones. Space is limited to 30 students per camp. They can find the information on, on our website, fhsu.edu, search for KAMS for CAMS. They can find the information and $100 a camp, very affordable. The director of CAMS, the Kansas Academy of Math and Science at Fort Hayes State University, Dr. Roger Sheepery, our community connection. Angels Care Home Health, serving Hayes and the surrounding areas, is a Medicare-certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing and restorative therapy services to patients in their homes. My Angel Care physical therapist taught me how to do exercises safely. Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, and all services are covered 100% by Medicare for patients who are eligible. It gives us independence in our home. Angels Care Home Health. We serve patients.